This is the realm of chemistry, and these are its greatest discoveries. England, the latter part of the 18th century. Clergyman and sometimes scientist Joseph Priestley conducted a series of experiments searching for new airs, what today we call gases. To find out more about what Priestley was up to, I paid a visit to Arnold Thackeray, president and historian at the Chemical Heritage Foundation in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And Priestley wrote and wrote and wrote on every subject that you've ever thought of. He wrote about history, he wrote about religion, he wrote about politics, he wrote, science. About, he wrote about science endlessly. And Priestley was the man who knew everything. He would tell you the practice of it, the history of it, the theory of it, and he was quite literally the man who knew everything. But along with everything else, Priestley did this famous experiment, right? That's exactly correct. And there are two things that go into that experiment. The one is mercury, this strange substance that's simultaneously a liquid and metal. And that's just crazy. I mean, who ever heard <laughs> of crazy. a liquid metal? And so it was really puzzling what is this thing and people were fascinated by it and so they wanted to explore it and of course the other thing that went into it was the technology to deal with gases and here in Priestley's experiments and observations on different kinds of air we have the technology of collecting gases over liquids in tubes that you could see through exactly so you can see the gas you can see what's happening to the gas and now you really are in business. What Priestley does is he takes a burning glass uh, to give him heat, a lens. He focuses it on this orange powder, the mercuric calx. He heats it. It changes into this metal mercury, and a gas comes off. But Priestley doesn't really realize what it is that he's found. 